You know, I really do not believe that either Hezbollah or Iran, or for that matter Russia, will be able or be willing to retaliate or react in any uh, violent way against the United States. Obviously, the United States has the means by which to respond. And should Iran uh, get involved, or Syria for that matter, retaliate, well, the United States is going to have to, uh, you know, re-attack uh, Syrian facilities and uh, could cause complete devastation. So I don't expect any retaliation from either of these um, players. I think the Israel at this point may well welcome the opportunity to destroy or to weaken President Assad in a very serious way. Uh, because the Israelis, like also many of American Arab allies, are very concerned about America's credibility in the Middle East. If the United States does nothing, Iran will not take the United States seriously. Hezbollah will not take the United States seriously. And that could cause tremendous concern, would cause tremendous concern in Israel and many of America's allies in the region. So I think Israel need to want to make sure the United States is ready and able to act when it is absolutely necessary. Look, whenever you use violence, there is the possibility, at least, that this could have or would have regional repercussions. But from my, as I see it, if we must choose between intervention and the risks that might be involved as a result of this intervention, I prefer to take the risk because we can no longer afford to see tens of thousands of innocent Syrian civilians to die nearly 10,000 children among the 100,000 have died already. We can no longer afford to allow this gross violation of human rights and do nothing about it. I think this will undermine America's position throughout the globe if we do nothing and try not to mobilize the international community to join us in this kind of effort.